Hi everyone, thanks for joining. I'm Frederick Horstedt. I'm one of the initiators of the Climate Framework, and I truly believe that we, higher education institutions, have a central role to play in the efforts to combat climate change. I'm Joran Finnved, and I'm one of the other initiators of the Climate Framework. The background for this work is the importance and the urgency of climate action. We have an important task to contribute through our teaching, research, and innovation activity, but we also need to contribute by reducing greenhouse gas emissions from our own operations in line with the rest of society. Here in Sweden, the higher education sector has together created a climate framework that serves as the basis for a climate strategy specific to each institution. The goal is to bring our institutions in line with national and international commitments including the Paris Agreement's 1.5 degrees limit and Sweden's national target to become climate neutral by 2045. Actually, this work started over a discussion over a cup of coffee, but we soon realized that we needed to involve the whole sector. So we started a collaboration with other Swedish universities, and in the end, all 37 presidents of higher education institutions signed the climate framework. The aim is to reduce emissions from the higher education institutions in Sweden, but also to make sure that we integrate climate action in education and research as well. Each institution chooses their focus areas depending on their local circumstances, and every institution is prepared to work with the following areas. Education, research, collaboration, business travel and energy usage. The foundation of the climate framework is the shared belief that a sustainable future is better achieved working collectively. That's how we engage and tackle the challenges to make our sector sustainable. The shared framework includes, but also extends beyond local projects and initiatives. That is to deploy implementation of climate targets across a breadth of Swedish institutions. An important aspect of the climate framework is a follow-up. So every higher education institution must allocate resources to also do a follow-up. The climate framework consists of a clear and simple commitment. And then we have developed a guideline document that identifies key areas for climate impact of the institutions. We who have signed the climate framework, we are familiar with the challenges of coping with climate change. We believe that we tackle them best together and in collaboration. All 37 institutions that have currently signed have provided their certain contributions to the framework, its content and future possibilities. We hope that the climate framework can be an inspiration for higher education institutions in other countries, as well as networks and organizations. If you want to read more about the climate framework, there is more information available here.